Gaia. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. We just got through eating. It was good. We had the wonderful rounds. Had some more of my co-workers join us there. So, yep, yep. you know, that's how we're doing. Shout out to Tim Humphrey. That's at, right. Uh, the Tim Humphrey Experience. You need some bounce houses. You're in the area. You holler at us. We'll holler at him. You'll get a 0% discount. But you know what? We'll bring it to you with a smile on our face. I wonder if Chris got a big booty discount works for Chris got a big booty. 0% off. I'm going to use that for everything. I'm gonna do that. That's gonna be my discount code for everything. Anyway, <clears throat> all right. So um, I don't know. Uh, I, I was asked probably two or three times over the past couple of weeks um, about doing a video on what I kept or holdbacks or whatever you want to call it, stuff that I didn't sell that I kept. So and I've kind of been holding off for that for a while because guess what? We still have. Come look. What we still oh, have. oh, we still got stuff in here. I just came over here the other day and put something in here. So, there's still stuff in the incubator. So, that's a uh, holdback central right there. And also, still have two females to lay. But, if you scan over here for a second, see our new broom that we just purchased. That's a beautiful new broom. I used that the other day. I okay. test drove that broom. You'll notice the blue clothespins. Mm -hmm. What does blue mean? Blue means there's a male in here. Yeah. Oh, sneak oh. peek, sneak peek. They're doing. They're doing that. They do. That's what it looks like when snakes do doing, things. Doing what they're doing. They're pinky promising to each other that they were they'll be this together this season. They also make a mess. <clears throat> I mean, you know, close the door. You're letting the stink out. Come on now. So not sure uh, where. So what this means mm -hmm. is 2022 breeding season is upon us. Oh, that's the 2022 models. So, so put your orders in now. 2021 bottle is still cooking. Still have two clutches to be laid. And we're starting for 2022. So. Meanwhile, I'm still at my house waiting for things to, you know, finish up as well. I got some 2023 seasons working. Yep. Yeah. Well, also means the incubator is probably not going to turn off again this year. Oh, that's a good thing. So. Yeah. Um, we scanned a couple of girls yesterday on ultrasound just to kind of see where the room was at in general mm -hmm. and uh, three of the four girls that I scanned have pretty good sized follicles already so yeah I like my girls big follicles we had a really late year last year and it looks like everybody from what I've talked to including me is starting a very early season this year so I don't know I mean, that's good that's, that's good stuff anyway let's get back to those holdbacks so this is uh this is one of the earlier in the season babies that we hatched and this is going to be a snow so snow is albino and exantic and that basically just takes kind of all the color out of it um albino is much stronger than exantic so that's why it looks more yellow but um also we have pastel cinnamon pinstripe and ghi in this pairing so i'm actually not real sure which of those four com four com co dominant genes are in this dude, if any? Who dominant genes? Co dominant. That's my name. So, not sure. Uh, I don't see pinstripe or cinnamon. I do think I see GHI. Um, pastels are maybe. It didn't really look pastel, but as the older it gets, it is having more of a white head and white dorsal. So. And that's a, a easy way to tell pastel. Well, I'm guessing on this because right. you know probably a world's first. Nobody's ever produce anything like this but um anyway so we'll see uh joe offline uh, exanthic uh, as everything here is and um we'll raise this guy up and produce some cool stuff with him in years to come i kind of wish i didn't hit the albino in this <laughs> why 
<laughs> because I can't see what else is here. I mean, so. but you got an albino. Yep. I don't, man. Well, I got albino and exanthic here. I still so. don't care, man. I like albino stuff. Yep. All right, so this is a really, really unique uh, animal here. Uh, we all know I love blackhead. And this is what I believe to be blackhead, inchy, orange dream, and hypo. So, okay. Is that why the is, is super orangey looking? Because the orange dream mixed with hypo? Well, blackhead and inchy can be a little orangey anyway. Okay. And then adding the orange ghost and the orange dream, which orange ghost and hypo are the same thing. Just amplifies it. Um, amplifies those colors up even more. So uh, that's what I'm guessing here. So really cool dude. Um, definitely glad to add this to the arsenal for years to come. Absolutely. So I don't know if the yeah. camera really picks up how intense the orange is, but. I'm seeing a little bit of it, but not as much as in with the naked eye. This is one of the few snakes that I actually hit that I needed to hit um, for this year. And this is going to be the Jungle Wama Hip Pod Clutch. So this is Jungle Wama Inchy Yellow Belly. And he is 100% uh, Hip Pod. So. Dude, if it was a girl, you could have named her Anita. Anita. <laughs> okay, all right, back to it. But, uh, it's very squirmy. These things are quite active. All the jungle wama stuff is. But, um, really cool dude. Um, really glad I, f I hit my goal animal on this clutch. Doesn't happen very often for me, so really cool. So, hopefully, we'll see some pied versions of this uh, as soon as he gets ready to start breeding. So, Absolutely. Again, making my own hits because that's what I do. Um, which will, let me put this guy up. So that brings me to another point um, that I'll kind of skip into here. It's probably gonna be a two part um, section because I'm gonna start rambling here for a second. I've noticed a lot of inquiries about animals and they'll say, hey, do you have, um, do you have any Jungle Wama Hit DG stuff? Or do you have any um, redhead Hit Clown stuff? Or do you have any blackhead uh, hit clown or hit DG or you know what they want they want or people want to buy the genes that they want and they want to buy it into a project already and yes yeah, sometimes that happens like I wanted to make jungle wama hit pod stuff so I made jungle wama hit pod stuff stuff I wanted to do but you can't just expect that somebody out there has jungle wama hit clown stuff you need to understand that a lot of these genes are still new into recessives. So if you want to make Jungle Wama Head Clown, or if you want to make Blackhead Head Clown, you need to understand that you might need to do that yourself. You, they, they're, Those animals might not even exist yet. So it gets kind of old as breeders to have people ask for, oh, I want an OD yellow belly blackhead het dg well that animal probably doesn't even exist yet so why don't you buy blackhead od yellow belly and breed it to a dg because makes, makes perfect sense you need to put in your effort too uh a lot of young breeders think they can just buy their way into it you're not going to get a hit that way if somebody's making those heads that means they're keeping the better stuff ahead of you so if you want to work a project and need to work this or need to have this, uh, that's your responsibility to try to make that stuff too. Don't always expect somebody to be able to sell it. So, I mean, that, that's just a, that's just a little bit of a breeder point of view, and I may sound like an asshole when I'm saying that, but don't be scared and don't expect things that might not even exist when breeders say, "Oh, I don't have that," and I don't know, it just gets old answering those questions like, you make it. You know, I don't have that. It probably hasn't been done yet. Why don't you do it? Why don't you be the first to do Why it? Why don't you be the first one to do it? Let me buy those animals from you. That's right. So, um, anyway, that's a little ramble there. Let's get back to the whole bags. All right. So, this little girl, or not so little anymore, but this girl is quite unique. Um, I really, really don't even need to keep this truth be known, but it's such an interesting and cool looking snake. 
Uh, it's just one I just can't part with. So what we have is Blackhead, Mojave, Banana, Pie. So, so you're keeping this one as a holdback just because you like it. Right. So this is more of a pet holdback. <laughs> kind of. Hey, and there's, dude, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no. Nope. I, I mean, I got stuff that I hold back. Right. Just because I want it. Male or female, this is, this would have stayed probably either way. It's just, I simply like it. I think it's, it's pretty a, snake. I think it's a really unique animal, um, especially with the Mojave Pied. Because everybody thinks that Mojave Pieds are always really high white and they don't like to work Mojave into their pie project but an animal like this makes you reevaluate re that mm -hmm. so what if this had inchy also in it or what if this also had yellow belly in it something like that uh could really increase the color on this thing and make it really unique looking so um i don't like that pale color on it though. yeah so we're lucky enough that the blackheads actually was bringing this pattern back in here um usually the coral glow or banana stuff usually doesn't uh, affect the pattern sometimes you can have high white or low whites with uh, banana coral glow stuff but really what's bringing this pattern is the blackhead so we put inchy to this you know what, what could happen then or what about another double dose of the blackhead uh, and that's kind of what i'm thinking here oh, like a super blackhead pod well um yeah newsman has made uh the super blackhead pod and they're just absolutely insane so in years to come, well, what happens if I put the our blackhead inchy pod male to this? I mean, that, that could be really outstanding stuff. So Absolutely. Inchy Mojave pods look great too. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of options with this girl that I think um, you know could give us some really cool stuff. I really appreciate everybody watching this. Uh, what is it like? Subscribe. Comment, comment share, share tell your friends get your cousin to like it Do all um like it oh while we're at lunch uh you know about tim his uh co-worker was in there eating and he goes oh don't y'all have a youtube channel we're like yeah and he sure. goes what is it and he's like subscribe so hey thank you, can you do for it subscribing too. yep appreciate everybody see you on next go round